Morning, guys. So on the left-hand side is a 2022 BMW GSA 40th Anniversary Edition. And on the right is a 23 Multistrada, Ducati Multistrada Pikes Peak. And uh, I bought the Pikes Peak because friends of mine are telling me how great a bike it is. And I wanted to see for myself how it compares, how it handles... Uh, what the engine is like and uh, i've seen so many great reviews about the ducati and i own several ducatis i thought i'd give it a try and to refresh my memory i uh, took the uh, gsa out for a little spin just now and um, saw how it handles so a uh, couple of things just to compare both motorcycles the turning radiuses of them they're both very very capable bikes the turning radius is actually a little tiny bit tighter on the Multistrada, which surprised me. I can get this thing as slow as two to three miles an hour and make really tight turns. This, I can get down to three miles an hour and make tight turns. This engine is smoother than this engine. This engine revs much quicker than this engine. It doesn't have as much torque as this does. This is a very, very refined, smooth motor with a bunch of torque down low. You could lug this thing as low as 2,500 RPMs and she'll be just fine. This one, however, you don't really want to be below 4,000 RPMs and um, it's just not smooth down below that. In fact, it's never smooth when you're rolling the throttle on, but once the throttle is stable once you're at a certain rpm this is a very smooth motorcycle and it's got a tremendous amount of acceleration the quick shifter there is no comparison this one wins quick shifter is phenomenal this quick shifter is terrible it, it, it first to second it lunges a uh, third to fourth it, it'll still lunge so uh downshift's good but uh it definitely lunges on the upshifts both of them, again, they're great motorcycles. You're not going to go wrong with either one of these things. Cost is another thing maybe some of you are worried about. This bike cost me uh, $31.5. This bike, I think, was $29.5. I bought all the bags for it, all the other stuff, so they come about the same. But, you know, if I had to start over again and buy just one bike... It, it, it might be a tough call. I would say that the BMW's TFT display is a little bit more refined. Uh, doesn't have the cruise control features of that Pike's Peak, that radar cruise control. I never thought I'd like it, but it's pretty sweet. And the uh, blind spot monitoring is pretty sweet. But the BMW has got great mirrors. The visibility is excellent. So you shouldn't have concerns like that. They both, even though this thing has a supposed uh, Acropovic slip-on right there, and this BMW has just the uh, fancy schmancy, I don't know, high-end exhaust from the high-end package, this one's probably just a little bit louder than uh, the Pikes Peak. It's a beautiful bike. If you haven't seen the Anniversary Edition, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, but there's a, there's a flake in the uh, finish on the paint on it. I don't know if you could see it. I think it's picking it up now. You could see that in there. I didn't realize that when I had originally uh, bought it. These things were kind of hard to come by. I got in on the tail end of this thing and picked it up last year. I had to drive up to Green Bay, Wisconsin to get it, but uh, it's been a beautiful motorcycle. It's a pleasure to own this thing. The Pikes Peak just arrived uh, a couple days ago, put a couple hundred miles on it already, and she's a beautiful motorcycle as well. Uh, I really don't have anything negative to say yet. I took it out on a spirited ride yesterday, and um, it was very impressive. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's a, it's a very, very impressive motorcycle, the Pikes Peak. Uh, Size-wise, well, let's see. You get an idea of the fuel tank there. It's wide, but it ain't as wide as the Beast here. That's a much wider tank. And you can see with that engine sitting where it is, the center of gravity is much lower on the uh, GSA. The other thing is the handlebar placement. I'm six, one and a half, uh, 220, 
And these handlebars, I stretch a little bit. So most guys, what they're doing is you're buying a riser here and a little bit of a tilt back on the riser so it's more comfortable. And on a longer uh, road trip, I went on a 180-mile road trip the other day, and you could definitely feel it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it is something that you, you would want to uh, do. These handlebars on the Multistrada Pikes Peak are a little bit narrower than the regular V4. But the interesting thing is, for my size, they fit me exactly where I want them. I don't need to, uh, to do anything to adjust them. Uh, they're just perfect right out of the gate. Uh, another nice feature is you could adjust this TFT screen. Down over here, there's a little lever. And if you turn this lever, the screen moves to all different positions. And uh, it really uh, nice, especially with, you know, bright sun or glare. And there's no problem seeing the screen. It, it works just fine. Uh, they elected to put a switch on that you have to turn, and that'll start the bike. BMW has a button on their uh, bike that you just kind of hit that button right there, and the screen will come to life. So let's take a look at the screens on these things. That's the uh, nav display up there. So you kind of see the uh, screen right there, and it's quite intuitive. It limits the RPM uh, as far as when you're cold. The red line will start inching up as it warms up. It, it's a great display. It's on a lot of their motorcycles. Everything is, is really nice on it. This TFT, let's see how it compares in this bright sunlight. And turn this baby on. It takes a few seconds to start up, but you get a nice display. And it's, if you're not familiar with it, it's almost identical to the uh, Panigale and the Street Fighter. Uh, this portion over here is to give you a tack in the middle. Tells you the uh, safety features that are turned on as far as uh, the quick shift, the traction control, ABS, uh, Ducati wheelie control. On the left side is uh, some stuff that you could see, you know, your trip miles and stuff. And uh, on the top is just various settings. A really nice display, as you could see. And you could tie your phone to it, which you know, seems to be all the craze nowadays. And it has a boot built in um, system with Ducati Connect that you could uh, load uh, a couple of GPS systems. Uh, people complain about it, but uh, I haven't used it yet, so I can't really comment on it. It doesn't come with heated grips. And um, the grips are going to set you back $397 if you want them. I did order them. I have them. I haven't put them on yet. And once I put them on, I got to take it to the dealer and he's just got to activate it in the CAN bus and program it. So that's something that still needs to be done. I haven't put any other accessories on this thing yet. I haven't decided uh, what I want to do as far as uh, luggage goes or bags. But uh, so far I played with all the driving modes on it and uh, really impressive bike. But the whole purpose of the video today was to compare them, how they look. You know, you got to decide if you want that Italian beak, looks like an angry bird, or you want that traditional duck bill on this thing. Uh, you know, it's a tough, tough choice. I don't envy anyone who's making this choice. It's great choices in life to have. Uh, you know, you got to have them both. That's the way I look at it. But uh, definitely uh, different purposes. This Pike's Peak is more of a sport bike without having to suffer at all. It's got a lot of creature comforts and it's a very comfortable position. This is a super comfortable position as well. Um, the seats on both of these are, are good. I mean, again, it's just depending on what you need. This supposedly is a little bit better off-road. This I wouldn't take off-road, not with those Marcassini wheels and not with the size tires they have. But maybe the rally version of this is for you guys. So, Anyway, I just wanted to make this video for you guys to see a direct comparison. Take care, and, uh, you know, the usual like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.